as you may have noticed, I haven't had a chance to really put out a video in a while, partly because uh, there takes a lot of time to record a video and then there takes far more time to edit the video in the way that I would like to present it. Um, and I just thought, you know what, instead of uh, going through fancy editing and uh, taking a lot of time to record a video, uh, I'm just going to do something every week called Two Minute Tuesdays. I'm going to do my best to do this every week, guys, but I want to just drop some nuggets of truth to you and hope it, hope it encourages you in your walk with God. So let's start Two Minute Tuesday, right? Yeah. Hey guys, I've heard it said like this. Every time we gather in prayer, every time we go into the Word, every time we gather corporately, it is meant to bring us into a fresh encounter with Jesus. And that's so good because God wants us way more than we could ever want Him. Even on our best day, He wants to be with us. He wants to encounter us. But here's the thing. I've noticed in my life and even in conversations with friends that a lot of times we go into prayer because we bring our needs, we bring our anxieties and our fear. And Paul says, make your request known to God. But when we let anxiety Anxiety, fear, worry, be the sole driver to bring us into prayer. We position ourselves in a way that we don't receive fully what God has for us in that time. When I'm bringing my anxiety and my fear, I say, God, I need you to do this, or I don't know what to do. Lord, what do I need to do? And we just focus on that thing in prayer. We're not focusing on Him, the one who's worthy of our affection. We're focusing on the thing we're bringing to Him. And then what happens is when we focus on that thing, we don't receive the answer to our prayer because a lot of times we pray for things that He's already done. Jesus said it like this. This. He said in John 16 verse 24, until now you have not asked for anything in my name, but now ask and you will receive and your joy will be complete. Ephesians chapter 1 says, thanks be to God, the Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realm. So we pray for peace, we pray for understanding, but if we're praying for something that he's already given us, Here's what happens. We fail to realize that He's already given it to us. We fail to receive it. And so we're focusing on something we're looking for instead of realizing we already have it. Let me receive it. Let me walk in it by faith. And then we lack the joy of answered prayer. Next time you guys go into prayer, as much as we have anxieties and things that you know we need God to do, like bring that to Him, but let the majority of your prayer time not be focused on those things, but let it be focused on encountering Him, on beholding His beauty, beholding the glory of God. As Paul says in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, last verse, we're beholding his glory and when we do that we're being transformed into his likeness as Paul says so guys I want to encourage you when you go into prayer do it to be with him do it to encounter him and let his presence overtake you if you have questions guys let me know if this bless you like it share it looking forward to the next two minute Tuesday love you all talk to you later